This award essentially gives us a better mission statement in terms of, hey, we're equipped. You know, we have been noticed as a database that can really help your KYC program. That's going to help us get KYC programs better, which hopefully will then cut down on money laundering. The best KYC solutions combine data, information, technology, reg tech, in this case, in most cases, and what people are going to do with the output from the data and the technology. So the, 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 the main issue has been over the last three to five years, particularly, that the data, the information being used to drive the program has been both inaccurate and there's been gaps. It's the worst of all possibilities because the technologies now, RegTech, are quite sophisticated. Taking Orbis, which is Bureau Van Dyke's massive database, 300 million plus legal entities overlaid with owners, directors, and managers, hundreds of millions of linkages overlaid with negative information on sanctions, PEP, and adverse media. Now that data being consumed by today's fantastic RegTech all of a sudden, the pictures and the information that is coming out of that analysis is far more sophisticated, far more precise. That is making it hard to hide if you're a bad actor trying to launder money. Gathering the data first and then keeping it real and up to date, those are huge issues because KYC now, in terms of a process, is measured in literally minutes and hours, not in days and weeks and months as it used to be. And our focus is at a regulatory level, try to break down the silos in countries, educate the regulators, and then obviously we have to take and have systems whereby we can keep that information up to date. Solving that problem really does provide the foundation for most effective KYC programs. So clearly in the EU, we've got the AML directives, four, five, and in 2026. Those are driving certain um, aspects of the program. And when you couple that with changes in the US, OFAC, the Office of the Controller of the Currency, both of those EU and US initiatives are starting to change the definition <clears throat> of what control is. So control is at the heart of us being able to manage how we find where the risks are. The, the bad actors are so good now at hiding that what we're trying to do is understand how can someone be invisible but control an organization, particularly for the EU and the new directives, that issue of solving who really is calling the shots. And then we work with our clients strategically to apply that information to the depth that they need to based on their business and where their where they're actually um, business activity is being conducted. It, it really is fundamental that we have to make it harder for the bad actors to hide because if, if, if it is more transparency in who is actually running things, we actually might make a dent in reducing money laundering that's happening pervasively in trillion plus do dollars um, a year. And so that's really our, our core focus. What we're seeing is the regulators are expecting now control to be defined. And that means that we have to apply mathematics in a degree we've never done before. New technologies, artificial intelligence. But the point is, is to try to define who is actually calling the shots and 2020 and beyond, that is going to be our uh, primary driver.